everyone I've got a few things to share with you today in my usual style <laughs> so today I have done I wanted to show you my boy doll he's called Lloyd when I got him his face was plain so I've given him a face up I have done a separate video on that because I did have someone ask me how I did it and I have just trimmed his fringe a little bit so that you can actually see his face up you can see I've given him freckles and nostrils and painted his lips, done a little bit of definition around his eyes and I've given him some eyebrows. Really pleased with him. Yeah, that's Lloyd. And he's dressed in, these are Bratz trousers, Bratz boy trousers and a Bratz boy jacket. They fit these dolls really well, Bratz boy clothes do. And this is a Barbie top. I love that Barbie top on him. <laughs> so that's Lloyd on one of the lovely stands that I got from Marna and Darren over at Dolls Rescued, I might add, because they are really nice stands. Then I've got Lottie. You've seen Lottie in her Christmas jumper, but not in her Christmas hat. And this Christmas hat, all it is, is a baby sock. And all I've done is take this off and it's only held on with a little piece of thread. I nicked the thread and it came straight off. And I just turned it round the other way so that it wasn't upside down on her hat. And I glued it, glued it on. I stretched it over a pot and then glued it on the right way up again. So that's how she got her hat. I did the same for this little girl. <laughs> and she's wearing, I dressed her in this outfit that I got in a bundle. I got it with a, now is it called Barbie and Me doll? A, a large soft Barbie. And this was a Marks and Spencer doll outfit and it fits her perfectly. Look at that. It really does fit her so well and I think it really suits her. And she's got her little Christmas hat on as well. This one's got Santa on it. So that's her. Of course we have the lovely Courtney. She's still all dressed in her outfit that she got that I won from Marna. She's got a little bag there that's got her little camera in it. Yeah, she looks lovely. Look at that. That's her. Then we have this girl. I've named her Amelia. So she's got new eye chips. She is dressed in this. This is a Barbie Wonder Woman top, a Creatable World jacket. And then she's got this little bag that came in the Wonder Woman fashion pack. Creatable World little leggings, snake skin effect leggings, and then she's got these little red canvas boots that I think I got from Wish. I've had them for ages, but they do fit her fairly well. She's just dressed, she's not dressed in Christmas things. Then we have Peaches. Peaches has got new eye chips. I've given her plaits. She's wearing a Barbie Snoopy top. She's got these lovely rainbow, Creatable World rainbow leggings on. Some little silver Creatable World shoes. I've given her some new beads on her string pull as well. They've all got new beads on this string pull actually. And then we have Cadence. I've given Cadence some pigtails. She's gorgeous, I love her so much. She's in the Hello Kitty fashion pack and I've given her these, I love those, love those beads. Yeah, and she's got these little shoes on. You probably have seen Cadence already, but you haven't seen her new eye chips and the fact that she's got pigtails now. Yeah, I've wanted to give her quite plain eye chips because I didn't want it to take away from that wonderful hair. So I absolutely love it. I think they... You know, they suit her really well with that fantastic hair. And then on Amazon, I got another Creatable World pack. It's one of the newer ones. It was around £17, but I love it. Look at this set. Look at the clothes in it. Let's open it up and have a look. On the back of this flap, you can see all the different sets that you can get. So there's two, four, six, eight sets. I'm not sure I've got this set. I'll have to look out for that one. And I don't think I've got this one either. So I'll have to look out for those two, won't I? Here's the doll in the box. You can see all the bits that uh, comes with it. I thought for the price, it's worth it just for the clothes, I think. 
and you do get three pairs of shoes in these sets as well and the fact that they fit Blythe is what's really swung it for me that and the fact that Rosie loves these dolls Rosie does like the um creatable world doll she really enjoys playing with those when she comes here so take the plastic lid off so we've got this orange top with a zebra on it I love that I think that'll look well on a boy or a girl this little um pleather look jacket I love that with a fur collar this little camo skirt I like that that's really cute isn't it love all these bits and pieces this little hat that won't fit Blythe but I'm not worried about that then we've got this stripy shirt I really like that I'd be nice on a boy or a girl wouldn't it It'd be nice with some jeans we've got some little silver shorts look like they could be worn in a boxing ring We've got these jeans. They fit the Creatable World. The Creatable World clothes fit the Blythe dolls really well. So I'm really pleased about that. And the shoes fit too. So you usually get three pairs of shoes. And here's what we've got. We've got some little high top trainers. Are they? Listen at me. I, don't, I haven't got a clue really. I haven't. But anyway. We've got those. Then we've got these blue sandals they're nice aren't they but my favorite out of the three pairs of these i think i'd call these mod shoes what a mod would wear because they've got that <laughs> checkered bit on the front in yellow and black i really like those and then also you get a pair of sunglasses which you can't actually see through shall i try them on oh yeah i think i could get away with that do you <laughs> that's them and then we have the doll itself love this doll absolutely love the skin tone it's such a lovely dark color love it here he is so i'm wondering if his wig will look better because his hair is a bit curly you probably won't see the thing so much on there when you put the wig on let's have a look at the wig here is the wig and with it being curly I'm thinking that you probably won't see wow Ooh. maybe I've got it on backwards eh? I think perhaps I have yeah that that wig does it doesn't look so bad does it because it looks like it's got a fringe and you can't really see that this band bit is what annoys me and you can't really see it so well on there so yeah that's pretty good that well I mean <laughs> that wig I can I can live with that it looks okay so that was the creatable world doll yeah love those I'm really when they first come out I wasn't that impressed with them but since I found out that their clothes fit Blythe dolls I've bought loads yeah and also on top of that they've been on sale on amazon so that has that's what swung me also on sale on amazon something i wasn't going to buy because it was 40 pounds was this but it was reduced to 25 pounds and i thought wow that is such a good price it's cave club rockella and tyrosaurus look how cute that is so let's open this up because you can put her on the you can put her on the dinosaur I eventually got her out here she is and she does move she's she's you can move her arms like this move her front legs and you can move her back legs as well I thought yeah she does uh, back legs do click also she has a button on the back of her head this little spike here to open her mouth so she can eat and you can move her head look at her head look at her eyes she's ever so cute isn't she wow here she is Raquel look how gorgeous she is so she has this pink like clip thing in her hair it's just held round her ponytail look at the colors in her hair gorgeous love this like magenta color isn't she lovely I like how well articulated these dolls are. I like the height of them. She's got her little dinosaur feet 
spook things on. Yeah, she's around eight inches without this bit on this, if you don't count this bit on the top. But she is just gorgeous. I love her colour scheme. Love that mint and magenta together with that like lime green there. Her hair's quite curly at the back. She's got on this animal print dress. She's got on this shoulder piece with teeth and a little heart shape in the middle. She's gorgeous, isn't she? Love her. Let's sit her on the dinosaur. So there's room for two dolls on here because there's leg holes as here as well, look. Her legs clip into there onto the saddle. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why those legs are clicky, but yeah, he's, you can, the dinosaur can walk. It's very sturdy, the dinosaur. Yeah, Rosie and her brother are gonna love playing with this. And then also you get some extra little bits and pieces with it. You get a big drumstick there. You get another little hair piece thing. I don't know whether that goes on the dinosaur. I don't know whether you can put it on the dinosaur or whether it goes on the doll. I'm gonna pop it on the dinosaur so that they match. There we are. Yeah, pop that on the dinosaur. They're about the same size, I think. Then we've got some little, a little, what looks like a bunch of grapes there. We've got a little drink for Raquel. And we have a brush. So yeah, you can... Yeah, look, I put the thing on its head. If you pull that down, you can feed, feed the dinosaur. There. Yeah, Rosie, Rosie and her brother will enjoy playing with that. And actually, I think it's quite cute too. <laughs> So that was that and then in home bargains i found this necklace but i thought it's a, it's a light up one although it doesn't seem to be lighting up at the minute oh it is a light up light up baubles but i thought they were the perfect size for a doll christmas tree not lighting up though that's annoying never mind but that's that in Smith's, they had a sale on Our Generation. And in the outfits, you can get three for the price of two. So I got this one, which is like the film one. You can see there's little scissors and a pencil in there. It's like a, a film runners thing, I think. So she's got headphones there. There's a clapperboard. But it's the top trousers and shoes that I really wanted. Really nice. Yeah, she's like a... Um, behind the scenes it says so yeah love that and then i got this one which is a bedtime set it's got a lovely fluffy um dressing gown with it with the ears on it look how cute is that it's got some sliders it's got a little ice cream toy very cute love it and these will fit any 18 inch dolls and then i got this outfit, I got this dress in a bundle with a doll that I got, but I gave it to Rosie because Rosie wanted a school dress for her doll. So I've replaced that with mine, uh, with one for my doll. It comes with socks, shoes, a school bag with little bits and bobs in it and some glasses there. So that's that, really pleased with those. And then I couldn't resist. I got another one of these, the toy ones. I liked the toys. Yeah, it's um, mini brands toys. So let's, I thought with it being Christmas, I could use them to do a doll scene with the toys, couldn't I? That, that's my excuse. Oh, it's come off fairly easy. I watched Ruby Red's World of Dolls open these and she didn't have half the trouble I'm having, I'll tell you. No, she opened them fairly easily. It must just be me that's daft, eh? Although, oh, no, here we go. I know that uh, Lisa over at My Family Toy Reviews has problems with things like this too. I'm not on my own. She says that her son uses his teeth to open them. I don't use mine in case they come out. Right, so I've got all the cellophane off. I've taken the tab off the top. So let's see what five surprises we've got. Oh, we've got the paper bags again. 
But they, they look good for shopping bags, don't they? For putting the toys in. That's okay. I'm not worried about that. Then we get... Oh, my life. Look at this look. It's a little SpongeBob figure. Ha <laughs> ha, cute is that? <laughs> then you get your checklist. There's loads of them to collect. So that's two. In number three, we get a little paint palette. In the fourth one, we get... Oh, a little frisbee. So you tend, from what I've seen, you tend to get one, what I call a good toy, like in this case, it's the SpongeBob one. And then four, you know, sort of smaller things. So we've got a Jojo Siwa bow there. I suppose you could take that bow off there and it is actually just glued on. You could take it off there and glue it onto a little clip to put in your doll's hair if you wanted to. But that's that. That was my dolling for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.